And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Cleveland Guardians. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab for the Cleveland Guardians, number 39, and singing, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here, and as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it, and I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. The 1-2. Fights it off. He'll see another. Righty to the plate. Reads at the bender for the strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Andrew Vaughn now. Oh, Just missed. Him. One out, base is empty. Next pitch is downstairs. One down, base is empty. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. And he deals. And that one inside. off the inside edge. You walked him. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Luis Robert now. Next offering upstairs. Boog, here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have a good game. He always seemed to play better in road games. Vaughn over at first with one away. Next offering in there for a strike. That is strike two. I think he was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. And a swing and a miss. Two gone. Just a great slider right there, and I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. The 2-2. And they'll do it again. Two outs. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely, and that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. The pitch. Oh. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Nice. And a swing to miss. <laughs> yep. 
laboring here about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. That one not close and it's three and two. And a swing and a miss. Third out. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. And now the Guardians will see what their bats can do in a scoreless ball game. Back here in Cleveland, and today's starting pitcher, Chad Cool. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trusted, and really go after hitters, not nibble. Trusted his stuff can have late life and miss barrels of bats. We go to the bottom of the first. Stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. And right back to the mound. In plenty of time to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Here's the Guardians lineup now. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Josh Naylor. Boog, this guy had eight home runs last month. Now, it might not sound like a ton, but when you do the math and add that up over the course of a season, those are huge numbers. So when you think about that kind of consistency, they better be very careful in the way that they approach it. Next to hit, number 10. And another ball. Way out front for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. On the ground to first. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. That is third. The designated hitter. Jose Ramirez. Here's Jose Ramirez. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. Two down, nobody on. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Righty delivers. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. On the move. Can't get there. This one lands foul. Two outs. Base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. Scoreless after one. Back now at Progressive Field. To the batter now, Corey Jolks. Corey Jolks. Next offering in there for a strike. One and two. And that one missing low. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone. But usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. In the air right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. And here is Sosa to the plate. One down. Base is empty. That one finds the zone. And the count is one and two. And another ball. No score here in the second. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Out on the drop third strike, two gone. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time we got to the plate, and people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Two outs, space is empty. 
Danny Mendick steps to the plate for the White Sox. On the ground to the left. Toss to Naylor, and that is the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here in Cleveland, we head to the bottom of the second. So in now for Cleveland, Josh Naylor. One one now. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Robert going back. And it hits the fence. And that's a leadoff double. All over that one right there. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. David Fry getting ready to hit. Man at second. That's nope. inside. inside. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Kicks and deals. Now the 2 1 hammered, but foul. Naylor stands at second with no outs. Not even close two. there. And now three and two. Three and a swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you've got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Side. And that's ball two. At the belt and fires. Ground ball to the right side. Throws the first in time. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Gabriel Arias digs in for the Guardians. Two outs. Lace down the line. Put the extra bases. Run scores easily, and it's one nothing. And that's a two-out double. Picks himself up an RBI. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. And in scored position with two away. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Cleveland up a run, looking for more. Two, two, that missed inside. And yeah, that's ball two. That's okay. down and in. Tyler Freeman next to bat for Cleveland. And a pitch. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show.
out of the third inning. And here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. Here comes a pitch. Misses oh, off the right. inside. And that's ball three. That one oh, misses. Oh. So a leadoff walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Run around the move. On the ground to first. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. And up next for Chicago, Andrew Vaughn. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Fan, the base runner at first with one out. Pickoff throw. Fan back to first safely. And the righty deals. Fam on the move. The one two. High fly ball, right field. Drifts towards it. He's got it. There's two away. And now it's Luis Robert. The 1 1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Tying run is at first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Foul ball still, a 1 and 2 count. Two outs. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Everything came together for him. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. So two on with two away. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Two on, two outs. Well hit the other way. That one going back and foul. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. White Sox strand a couple. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. As we go to the last of the third, here's Tyler Freeman to hit. The center fielder, Tyler Freeman. The pitch. That one down the line and foul ball. Swing and a ball popped up. Vaughn settles underneath it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. So the batting order turns over. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Right down to shoot, and that's strike two. Looking two away down. 
Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. Pitch is in there, and the count one and two. And down on strikes, and it's a one-two-three inning. Guardians fail to score. But they lead it one to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the fourth, here's the shortstop at the play. Paul DeYoung is a 1 1. On the ground. And that's just foul. The wind of the pitch. That's a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. The 2-2. Two -two. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. And it beats it for the first out after the drop third strike. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Off the mark there. Ball two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat. So might have it timed up and ready for it. The punch out there. That's out number two. So two down now, and here is Lennon Sosa. Two outs. And a foul ball. One, two now. On the ground to third. And that oh. is that. One, two, three, go the White Sox. And it remains one nothing. Bottom of the fourth, here's a big power threat. Jose Ramirez. The designated hitter. The pitch. Missed with a changeup, and it count is three and one. You know, these Guardians do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And now it's Josh Naylor. This is a batter right here who really produces in these night games, and we saw the latest example of it in his first A.B. Next offering is downstairs. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And that one hit to first, and it goes just foul. Next offering way off the plate. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Left hand hitter waits. That one ripped. And it's off the wall. Around first, heading for two. And he's got his second double of the game. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. Man, it's second with one away. Now the third baseman, David Fry. That one finds the zone, and it's one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Two, two, 
Yep. This one in the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Naylor over at second, one down. Up the middle, Mendick. High throw to first, and he can't reach it. And this ball's going to wind up out of play. So a big-time costly mistake there. One down. And stepping in is the speedy Andres Jimenez. The 1-1. One -one. Comebacker to the mound. Throws to first in time. Now batting. Good stop. Gabriel Arias. Gabriel Arias digs in for the Guardians. And a pitch. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Guardians two and the White Sox nothing. Back here in Cleveland. And now, Danny Mendick. Leading off for the White Sox. The second baseman. And a pitch. Mendez. That missed by a lot. And it's two and one. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Tanner Bybee getting loose out there. Allen, a left-hander, also throwing. That catches the zone for a strike. Two and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Here's the 2 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. This one in the air, center field. Freeman has this one sized up and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Martin Maldonado up to hit. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And the right hander deals. Line drive, speared it first. And he handles it himself for the out. Now back, the right field. Tommy Pham. Here's Tommy Pham. The White Sox trailing by two. And we're at the top of the fifth. And a curve misses outside. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. Swing and a pop-up. And that is that. Nothing doing for the White Sox. They're still down. It's 2 zip. And we're back. John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. Bo Naylor. The wide to kick the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. down looking it's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen stand no, down you. I got this two. Tyler, Tyler Freeman digs in for the Guardians Freeman. all right Singy. trivia time 
back when this ballpark opened, 1994, one future Hall of Famer hit the first triple in the park, and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know that Ken Griffey Jr. hit the first triple here, but first homer for Cleveland. Uh, give me a hint. Switch hitter, that's all you're getting. Oh, dude, Eddie Murray, no doubt. Bam! The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And here it comes. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Line drive. Jokes makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now that left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power to the right side Mendy fires over to first Guardians go down in order nothing doing for the Guardians there but they're on top to nothing new inning getting started now Andrew Vaughn leading off for the White Sox the first place number 25. Right hander kicks deals. Swinging a foul straight back. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Stepping in the long ball threat, Luis Robert. Next ball offering three. misses down and away. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Number 39 will depart. He exits with the lead and gave them a really nice performance. New pitcher on the bump when we get back. A new arm into the game, the righty Tanner Bybee. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Run around at first with one gone. Eloy Jimenez now. Hot shot to third to Jimenez. Ow. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Offense held a check there. Two, three, four, do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Guardians two and the White Sox nothing. Number 33 gets handed the rock out of the pen. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now it's the right fielder. Leading off for the Guardians, the right fielder, Daniel Neiman. Fouls one off. Two and two. Kicks and fires. And that's outside. And now it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And he deals. Got him. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. 
Now it's Jose Ramirez. That's in there. Now one and two. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Steven Wilson, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Crochet also throwing. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And that one ripped into right. Coming on is Fab to make the play. Two away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Two down, nobody on. That's yep, outside. That out. And a count two and one. Tapped in front of the plate. In time to ball. Three up, three down, inning over. Guardians fail to score, but they hold the 2 0 lead. Back now at Progressive Field, top of inning number seven, and the batter will be the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. Yeah, big swing and a miss. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. On its way to the corner. Sizes this one up. He's got it. And there's one down. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play. Uh -huh. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because... That can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Tim Heron, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball biz ready to go. McGowan getting loose as well. One down, base is empty. Well. And that's off the inside edge. And it's three and two. Right side. Sizing this one up. Calls it in. And there's two away. Up next to Chicago. The third base. And next to him for the Sox, Lennon Sosa. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. The White Sox down by a pair here in the top half of inning number seven. Fouls it off, still one and two. Out to short, Arias. To first, out number three. Down in order, go the White Sox. And they're down 2 nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the last half of the seventh. Stepping up for the Guardians, David Fry. The pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Stays alive. Righty to the plate. Slider misses outside. Bounced up the middle to Young. The throw to first, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Here's Andres Jimenez. Right-handed reliever. That's a ball.
Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. And here is Gabriel Arias. Man at second. And that just misses. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed, you know. Getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from at bat to at bat. Jimenez, the runner at second with one away. Line drive. That's a base hit. Around third. The throw in. It's offline. The run comes in. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Man at first with one gone. Bo Naylor will hit next. Swing and a miss as he was late. One ball. Two strikes. Here's a one two. That's ball two. Wouldn't That's chase ball. that time. One run across in the frame so far. Here, the bottom of the seven. Hey. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He was able to execute the perfect pitch for that situation. No Had been pounding field. him with Double fastballs, two. and then all of a sudden pulls out the changeup and has good enough command to make it competitive. Tell you what, varying speeds like that to a hitter can be really, really effective. And right there, you could tell that hitter was just overmatched. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Tim Heron. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Danny Mendick now at the plate. The White Sox in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Three. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. The Guardians leading by three, and we're at the top of the eighth. That oh. one misses, and it's two and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. And a pitch. 
gets a piece and stays alive. One down, base is empty. And they'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Swings and misses. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. So up next for Chicago, Tommy Pham. The pitch. And another ball. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And the White Sox go quietly. One, two, three, go the White Sox. Still down, three nothing. Here in Cleveland, out to the bottom of the eighth. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. And a 1-1. Late swing, foul to the left. Here comes a pitch. Misses oh, off the down. play. And the count is even, 2-2. Two and two. Out of line, out towards center. Robert makes the grab, one away. The right fielder, number 10, Daniel. Now the number two hitter. The 2 1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. On the ground to third. Two up, two down. Now back, the designated hitter, Jose Ramirez. Two outs, space is empty. And up next for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Guardians go down one, two, three. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. So Cleveland brings out a new reliever, Emmanuel Classe. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Not one hit to right. One up and down. Next to hit, Luis Robert. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slug. The well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. One down, base is empty. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Played appearance there, able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. They're not ready to go home quite yet. 
Aloy Jimenez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Robert stands at first with one out. Next offering is down low. And strike two. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Two two now. It's softly on the ground left side. Fry toss the second. That's a double play. The ball game is over. Every team wants a reliable closer, and that's exactly what he delivers for his squad. They expect to win when he's on the mound at the end of the ball game, and he just produced his 25th save of the year. A shutout in this one. Three nothing. Our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.